please wait for the microphones to open up for questions for Cece. First question. Meredith on the right. Cece, did you have pain going into yesterday's game? And can you just kind of describe what you felt on the mound when that all happened? Yeah, no, I had no pain. Um, you know, I've been feeling good the last week, 10 days, whatever. Um, you know, arm's been feeling fresh. Everything's been feeling good. Um, and just that last pitch to uh, Diaz when he popped up, um, you know, I just felt like when I released the ball, kind of my shoulder kind of went with it. Um, you know, I told Stevie and those guys that I've, I subluxed it before one time when I was really young, um, I think first couple of years in the big leagues, and that's kind of what it felt like. Um, but today it's really sore, so, um, you know, I don't know. Next question. Brendan, here in the left. CC, could you just describe the emotions of coming off the field, the fans are chanting your name, the other team's clapping for you? Yeah, that was uh... – you know, I think that that's what got me more emotional than than you know actual injury. Um, you know, just hearing the fans and and you know the way that they were cheering me and and uh, you know it just makes me feel good. You know, it makes me feel like I made the right choice 11 years ago. Um, you know, I love these fans, love this organization, and um, you know it was just awesome to, to hear that and get that on the way out. In the middle, Sweeney on the left. CC, if you did it on that uh, pitch that Diaz popped up, means you threw what three more pitches and then a warm up pitch. What did that feel like, and how did you do it? Felt terrible. Um, <laughs> um, I was just hoping Springer, you know, swung early, um, and you know, once I realized this was going to be kind of a long at bat, I, you know, had to. I think Stevie, you know, came out and and uh, we kind of realized that I wasn't going to be able to do it, but. Um, you know, when I was throwing those pitches to Springer, I, I couldn't even look up to see where I was throwing the ball. You know, I was just kind of letting it go and whatever happened, happened. Straight back on the right. Thank you. Um, Cece, uh, could you kind of talk about what you told the guys uh, in, in, the, in the locker room, in the clubhouse there? Are they rallying behind you? And and what's what's the mood coming into tonight's game, and and how has your efforts, and all the fortitude that you have shown this season, especially during yesterday, how has that helped to rally the team to know that they're going to get a win tonight? Um, I think I think the the mood in the clubhouse is pretty good. I think we've had our backs against the wall all year. Um, you know, we've dealt with so many injuries, not just myself. You know, that that's a tough group in there, and and you know, our slogan has been next man up. You know, we've we've. Uh, overcome so many, you know, different adversities all through all throughout the year and been able to get to this point. So, um, yeah, you know, we're in a tough spot, backs against the wall, but um, I feel I feel good about our guys and our and our, our chances tonight. Just one game at a time. Far right. So you see, I know you I know you didn't want to go out like this obviously, but how would you kind of sum up this being, you know, the end for you? Um I told Amber last night that this was kind of the best way for it to, for me for for it to end for me, because the way I've been feeling, loving the bullpen, jogging out, feeling pretty good. I feel like about July of next year, I would have been like, I think I can pitch. So, um, you know, knowing that I obviously, you know, the way I feel now, I can't. Um, you know, I think it's just just kind of fitting. You know, I, I threw until I couldn't anymore. In the front on the right, Mark. So you see a lot of players were, were tweeting out their thoughts to you last night. Joe Girardi was really emotional on LLB Network talking about you. What does it mean to you to, to see all these players, see your former manager coming out and saying the kinds of things they are? Yeah, uh, makes you super emotional. Um, you know, so many texts, you know, tweets, um, you know, different things. Uh, it, it's, it's been awesome. It's been, it's been good to, you know, get that support from, you know, my teammates and, you know, just fans in general. So, um, yeah, I mean, I watched Joe last night, got emotional, you know, got some texts for some guys and, you know, got emotional, but, uh, it's all good stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just an honor and a blessing. On the right, John. So you say, I know you're kind of on your own time frame right now, but what is, what do you, is there surgery? Or what's the prognosis for what you have to do? With we, we, we don't know. Um, just kind of wait, maybe get an MRI after we get back from Houston, um, and just see. Okay. Down in the front here, Ron. How much pain were you in last night and how much pain are you in now compared to 
the usual pain you've put up with the last few years. Yeah, I was in I was in a pretty pretty good amount of pain um, last night um, and today. Um, you know, waking up, I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep that good. Um, you know, I, you know, I don't know what I did, but it's uh, it's pretty sore and it's you know the the pain's been pretty pretty intense since that pitch. Far left, Buster. CC. Um, Aaron Boone and a lot of your teammates spoke after the game about having watched you and the effort that was required for you to pitch and all the health issues that you worked through. Now that it's over, can you give some context to that about how much effort it, it did require you to get ready to pitch given the issues you're dealing with? Yeah, I mean, it's just, it, you know, for bullpens, you know, game days, um, anytime I had to get on the mound, you know, it was two and a half hour process, you know, from, you know, hot tub to training room to, weight room, you know, different treatments and things like that. Um, you know, I would, you know, throw a 15 pitch bullpen and, you know, take me two and a half hours to get out there. So, um, you know, that, that's the part of it that, that sucks. And, and, uh, you know, as you get older, that's, uh, that's the part I used to laugh at Andy Pettit about. <laughs> and now I'm going through it or went through it, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's just a part of it and, and, uh, it, it's rough and, but it makes it all worth it when you can get out there. Down in front here, Marley. CC, what is the message to the fans? This is the end of your career. You said this is the end, and Aaron Hicks called it a Hall of Fame career. Um, message to the fans will be just thank you. Um, you know, it's, it's been an amazing 11 years. I've, I've loved every minute of it here in the Bronx and, um, you know, really worldwide. Yan Yankee, you know, Yankees universe is, you know, world worldwide, and I've enjoyed um, being a part of it, so thank you. Okay. On the right in the front, Brian. CC, just wondering, what did Amber say when you brought up the idea of pitching next year? She just laughed. <laughs> but she knows it's true because, you know, the way I've been feeling the last couple of days, um, the last 10 days or whatever, um, yeah, that, that had been on my mind. And then just to follow up, what what is ahead for you? What do you think about – what do you think you'll be doing at this time next year? Um, hopefully here watching playoff games. Um, you know, Definitely uh, hanging out with the family. Um, continue to do my podcast and just kind of, you know, see whatever we'll see whatever happens. Okay. Far right, Joel. Cece, two different things. One was uh, it didn't seem like you were warming up while Adovino was pitching last night. Were you were you just saving bullets or were you already feeling something and you didn't want to throw out there? And then the other thing is uh, on a different subject is. You, like Cole and Verlander now, kind of gave your arm pitching a certain way for the majority of your career as a kind of starting horse. Do you appreciate that you did that even now as it probably cost you your arm on the back end? Uh, yeah, the first question, um, I just warm up fast. Like, I was ready, and uh, I knew I had to run in, so I was just sitting down waiting to get called in to to make that run. But, no, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't take me that long to warm up, um, so – no, I felt fine. I felt I, I felt totally fine. I felt great until until that one pitch. But um, yeah, I warm up pretty quick, and you know I was ready to go. Um, you know, probably a hit, I think the second hitter that that he was thrown to, I was ready. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it is what it is. You know, that's that's what I signed up to do. Um, you know, pitch as long as I could, and you know, as hard as I could, and take the ball every time out. So um, yeah, I have no regrets at all. Front row on the right, Eric. Cece, when we've asked you periodically during the season to look back on your career, you, you've said, I'm focused on this team winning, getting to October. I'll reflect later. Can you look back on this season? Is there one thing that stands out to you about it? Um, I think when I look back on this season, I think just the way we dealt, dealt with adversity for such a young team. Um, so many guys going down. This season could have been over a long time ago. And, you know, the way we fought, you know, the Gio Urshela's, Mike Tockman's, um, the way the guys stepped up and, you know, we won the division, you know, with not really having our A lineup out there every day. So, um, you know, just the way these guys fought, the adversity, how tough they are um, is what I'll take away from this team. And, and going forward, um, you know, I know they'll be fine just because of what we went through this year. Front row here, Barry. Hey, CC. Uh, did the bone actually pop out of the socket, and did they have to put it back in? What What was the whole procedure there? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't. Um, that's why I said. I mean, I it. I don't know if it actually subluxed or whatever happened. Um, but it like he didn't have to. When I did the test back there, um, it was back in the socket, and you know, um, 
but we, you know, we haven't had any, any MRIs or any further tests to see, you know, what, what actually happened. Okay. On the right, third row. CC, you're a guy that's obviously pitched through a lot of discomfort and pain the last few years. Where does that mindset come from? Is that something that was taught to you that you adapted yourself? Um, I think it was just something that just watching different guys, um, getting a chance to watch Chuck Finley at, you know, at the end of his career, beginning of my career, um, Dave Berber, just the way those guys grinded through games and, um, you know, the way they, they took the ball every time out, how tough they were. And, and, you know, I just kind of wanted to be that and, and, uh, you know, having those kind of examples, um, you know, just kind of led to me wanting to take the ball no matter what. Okay. Far left there, Scott. CC, I know, um, uh, uh, that going back a few years, that epic run you had in Milwaukee uh, was so inspirational for so many people, and yet you were going to be a free agent. And during that time, at any time, it could have ended like last night. You could have thrown your arm out. I know you said you don't have any regrets over your whole career. Looking back on that, over the years since, was there ever moments where you said, man, I was crazy, or, or people? how many people told you you were crazy? Oh, well, everybody told me I was crazy, but... Uh... No, I wish I could have pitched three more times, you know. Um, we were, you know, that team was so good. We were having so much fun. I got traded over there and felt like, you know, I said this a bunch of times, I felt like I had been there for 10 years and that clubhouse was so much fun. And, you know, I was healthy, you know, felt fine. And, I, you know, wanted to get us to the playoffs. And, um, no, I have, you know, I would have took the ball as many times as it required to, to you know, help that team win. Can we take a few more? Sweeney? The middle? Cece, when you answered Buster's question, that routine you described doesn't sound like any fun whatsoever. I mean, what made going through it fun for you? Uh, being able to get out there, um, being able to pitch and, and, you know, be out there with the guys. Um, you know, that's all it's about. What it's about for me is being able to go out there and compete um, no matter what I got to, to, to do in the clubhouse to get out there. Um, you know, I'm going to try to do it and be out there with the guys and, and uh, give everything I have. Stay here on the left, Jeff. What was your favorite part of pitching, the act of pitching itself? Um, I mean, just, you know, even just last night, just just being out there, you know. Um, I kind of felt, you know, I always felt like, you know, being the pitcher, the game, you know, you know, stopped and started on me. And, you know, I kind of felt like I was in control all the time. And that was just the best part about it is, you know, 50,000 people in the Bronx and, you know, the shit don't start until I'm ready. So that's, that was the best part. <laughs> On that note, thank you, Cece. Appreciate it. <laughs> Manager.